Cincinnati. A guy by the name of Jaleel Markeith shot and killed. Well, he shot two people. Shot a guy and his girl. The guy lived, the girl died. They got to reading him the stuff in the courtroom and everything. He was, you know, pleading his case and all that. Right. But he was pressing against the line, tried to rob somebody, takes up from somebody. And when he got in that courtroom, this happened. The three-year-old Jaleel was a young man living in Cincinnati, Ohio, who got mixed up with the wrong crowd. Jaleel planned with two other guys to steal a car. But this is where everything went wrong. Portia Brooks and her boyfriend, Aaron Martin, were inside a car, whispering sweet nonsense as lovers do, when Jaleel knocked on the car's window with a gun. Jaleel pushed the frightened boyfriend out of the car, searched, and shot him in the head. He then leaned in and shot Portia twice. Portia was taken to the hospital later, but didn't make it and died three days later. Luckily, Martin survived, but sustained serious brain damage. Jaleel and his accomplices 23-year-old Josiah Fusse, Vandal Bird, escaped. Still, through police investigation, they were apprehended years later. Jaleel was charged with aggravated murder and attempted murder. Portia's sister, in her statement, insisted on Jaleel serving the maximum sentence. I have to deal with life without Portia, so he should deal with life without, without parole. When it was Jaleel's turn to address the court, he pleaded for parole. He cried and claimed he had learned his lesson. If his pleas moved the judge, the victim impact statement from the victim's family ensured that he served the maximum sentence. Four defendants serve a term of life without parole. As to count four for the offense of attempted murder. When he heard this sentence, he slumped to the floor crying. He breaking down and uh, passing out and everything like that. <laughs> Pleading his case, man. <laughs> got to bring the real to reality. Boys got to know when you pick up the gun and you go commit a crime. Because that robbing is real heavy out here in the world as you've seen as of late. Really. And I tell people, man, I ain't saying stay heartless forever. You might have been heartless in a moment, but don't let yourself become heartless. Because you ain't going to be ready for the results if you get jammed up, bro. We see them. They look, they look like they body. They yeah. look like they stubble. They look like they, they gangsters. They some, of them, some of them stand on it. They keep that fight. They don't own for the public and everything. And some of them do what he did, man. Hmm. It's the gangsters, the steppers, the robbers. Some of them going to cry in private. But he broke down right there. You got to give him the real, man. Say, uh, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. I bet when he was taking, when he when he took that girl life and he shot her like he did, I bet her eye rolled in the back of his head. Cause that's the same way that nigga looked when that judge gave him that time. That nigga eye rolled in the back of his head. Took all the life out of him. That nigga know where he been at for the last year or two or three that he been fighting that charge. Shit, he don't want to be there for the rest of his life. What? That nigga, fight. that nigga had some stripes on. That nigga didn't have a... If every time y'all see a shit nigga coming in that mother got the stripes on, that's a trusty. He ain't really just doing too many hard times. They got that solid shit on. They back there, they, they thugging it out. Huh. I sit there and watch that nigga get that time while I go. He, you know, he, he sit there and boo-hoo to the damn family. Let me tell y'all something. We already know you need to be practicing that shit. We already know niggas always say, man, just break down crying. Then, man, don't you know, they don't give a fuck about your tears Them white folks said, give that nigga life without parole. If, if they could have had their way, they just said, get a rope. That's what we gonna do. We just gonna get a rope and hang this nigga from the tallest pole. So parole. But like my boy N say, these niggas walking around here, they got the dreads and everybody swinging. Niggas wilding. You know, I understand what's in style. Nigga, back in the day, we used to do, you know, kid and play. It was in style, nigga. But that time y'all getting in style back then. Nigga was getting, you know, um, back in my day, nigga say 25 years. That was a lot of time for a nigga back then. Damn, that sound like a light sentence to us. They got 25 years. What? 
Yeah, niggas in here talking about, I'm, 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 I'm see if I can get 25, I'm take 25. You said that ain't, that ain't no time. But you niggas have to run around here with all the gangsters. And it's time for it to get gangster. Come on now. Come on now. We need y'all to be them same niggas that you is with the stick in your hand. You know, the stick y'all go get. You start hitting niggas with it, look like you're hitting them with a switch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's y'all. But then when that judge get that switch in his hand, get the whoop ass with it. 99. 120 years, nigga. No parole, nigga. No safe, no, no visitation for a year. No commissary for the next five years. See, let me tell you something. When you lose your life to the system, when you become a ward of the state, y'all look that up. Y'all look that up. When you become a ward of the state, huh? Because somewhere in that law, if you niggas ain't searching law, huh? Once you have been um, convicted, as a felony, you become a ward of the state. <laughs> look the word ward up. That means slave, nigga. That means you become a slave, nigga. You ain't they don't give a they do with you now. I love you. Get that nigga out of here. That's how he's looking at you now. You became a ward of the state now. You can cry, you go back to the cell you want to. Sit there in front of you, you was a kill on yesterday. You was a kill on yesterday, beating on your chest like you one of the old planet of the apes. Real killer, couldn't tell you shit. Now you're in that courtroom with you. <laughs> Please forgive me. Your ass on up out of here. Get his ass on up out of here. I be sitting up looking at him. Because, let me say something. You got enough, you know, because you, you got to watch the, the before to appreciate the after. Hello! <laughs> My bad. I had to bust that on that one. You got to... Watch the before to appreciate the after. Because before they were just. She couldn't tell. Yeah, yeah that's, them, that's them niggas. Had the whole world. Yeah, that's them. And the after. No, y'all come here and look at this. Hurry up. Come look at Jim. They got Jim on TV. Come look at him. He get in there and get with Jim and they're doing. <laughs> Please forgive me, family. Man, that's not Jim. He must be on some medicine or something. They must be doping Jim up in there. They must be doing something that they ain't doing. Just guess what? Jim conscious had kicked in. Um, Jim has been in the county for like um, six months now. Um, his system is clean. His mind is free. He can think again. No more drink. No more pouring up. No more Hennessy. No more hair run. No more ice. No more boy. No more girl. No more Craig. No more nothing. He's clean. You've been sitting in a motherfucking cell. So guess what happened when you become a clean man? Hello, here come who? Who is it? That's conscience. Conscience that let him in. Shh. Don't think you want to. Now I'm stay. Man, they conscience in there. I'm hard enough to take that. Niggas think they're hard enough until conscience get there. You will see them. If they ain't no nigga walking down the house conscience, he must have been talking to conscience. What's that in there? He got a bobble. You got his Bob? You got his Bob in his pocket. Old country has been talking to him. Then this thing, you know, you sitting there coming down that motherfucker praying, got a, got a kufi on their motherfucking head, some carpet in their hand. But yeah, he's, been, he's been converted. Consciousness kicked in. And now I guess what they start thinking. They thinking because they constantly kicked in, they can go up. <laughs> you niggas sad. You niggas sad for this shit. Melko! Outside mail call. Nigga run over there and get mail. It's a, it's a letter from your bitch ass. Writing the goddamn family pleading for uh, leadership on your life, on your next parole, and see if you can help you get your appeal, and see if you can get your bitch. You just. You nigga sick, man. Man, you trying to get the family to help you? You know, they get them to say something for me. Yeah, I, I get them to say something for you. If, if you can make him get up and say something for us. Help me out. You help me, and I'm going to help you. If you can do that for me, believe me, I got you. i get you out of there. Now, what you want me to do? John, the one you killed, motherfucker. If he can say something for me, I'm going to say something for you. If you can't make him say nothing for me, don't make me try to say nothing for you, nigga. 
I don't give a fuck what you got going on in your life. Riding in there, motherfucker. Oh, that's how they feel on that side. You don't get to see they poor little one no more. When you knocked up on that car window, at the movie theater, or wherever they was at, on some gangster shit. I don't even know. He, he look like he could have been just a jealous nigga. Shit, he look like a real jealous nigga. He look like one of these just dry jealous, and I already tried to kill the nigga, man, and man, fuck you too, bitch. Some hating shit, cause you already know she was gonna tell it on your motherfucking ass. And the nigga live, man. Shout out to that brother, man. Keep fighting, man. I hope you ain't got no brain damage or nothing. That's all I need to try to do. Damn. But you know, sometimes when niggas get hit like that, they, they, they wish they were gone, gone, because they find out baby gone when they do get their money. Uh -huh. Hi, Sharon. And then on top of that, you know, yeah, like this girl, she gone, they dealing with that every day, the PTSD, the drama, the, the waking up, man. He got the bullet wound still there. Like, you really came there to kill, bro. And you tried to take this man out. He took his lady from him, took, you see the family in the courtroom crying. Mm. And I think that what you said, bro, just really let people know, <laughs> nigga, the real. <laughs> hey, you can't wake they family up, nigga. You hear me? Yeah. You, you can't do nothing. You can't do yeah. the most important thing that they looking for. They yeah. love one back. Yeah. So yeah. There ain't no sense of you even going in the courtroom begging, bro. And, and you know, it's a, it's, it's a shame how it look, man. Yeah. When they be killers on one day, then they find go out the next day. Same, man. I'm talking about um, it's free out here, y'all. It's free out here. It's free. It's free to stay free, y'all. <laughs> Learn that. We're gonna put, we got my mark, mark mark at that one. It's free to stay free. It's free don't cost you nothing to stay out here with us. It costs you everything to get put in that motherfucker. God damn, that's fire. <laughs> yeah, it costs you everything. Yeah. Most definitely condolences to that family and everybody going nah, through that, that, that situation, that hurts. man. Uh, man, when I hear when I hear stories like that, man, now that I got a lost loved one, I lost my brother, man. I'm just so deep in the feelings of anybody. Cause I hate, I hate, damn, damn, and, man. I, I hate to see. Uh, I was looking at Animal Planet the other day. I hate to see the pole. You know, I'm looking at him loose for hunting. Yeah. I start feeling sorry for the zebra, motherfucker. <laughs> man, bro, it was too I, many animals on his ass. Bro, you know what's so crazy, OG? Eating them alive. I be going through some shit, man. Sometimes, bro. Cause a nigga that got older, I be thinking about <laughs> everything, every wrong thing I did Don't to do somebody. It. <laughs> that shit be having me sitting up in the eyes, man. Like, like, dang. Why did I do that? Why did I say that? Why did nah, I hurt that real, feelings, bro? I hate that. I wish I could go back and da 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 da. I'm like, man, I want to write every single wrong I ever did to somebody, anything. That's that crazy, felt. ain't it, man? Even, even, bro, I even be feeling like I'm going to run tears, man, because you right, man. I be like, hey, for real. Hey, and then even. Wanna... Even the things that Man. I know I kind of did. Because sometimes now you got to be correct on in it. Like, well, I got to give you this right now so you can know better how right. you crossing the line. Right. Like, because I speak on stuff right. in the right. game. Right, right, right. So when I be saying things online, I don't be trying to put it out there in a way to make somebody just like die, go away. And right, right, right. I just got to speak the real, though. Yeah, yeah. But then I look back at things that I've done and, and things in life, and I ain't no messed up nigga at all, man. No, I grew up no. in the church, you know what I'm saying? Right, let's go. We I both, grew up different both, both. household, church. Let, let's nigga go. ain't on no none of the wild crazy, but <laughs> we already made mistakes, man. Right, right. And could have handled things way differently, but a nigga from Philly came on, on, on the live stream one night, man, and he said something, and we were just talking about, like, the cultural difference between black, white people. He said, bro, they try to make us out of savages, nigga. He said, Nigga, I can't even kick no dog that ain't. I just can't even kick a dog walking yeah. around. Yeah. And I can't unless he trying to do something to me. Right, right. And he was like, nigga, they'll kick your ass. They used to kick niggas and punch and spit on niggas. What? He said, nigga, we can't even do that to a dog. It ain't even in us unless you like a little kid or something. But he say, as a grown man, if you see a dog, you nah, ain't gonna kick no dog yeah, for yeah. no reason. You will feel like, nigga, I'm weak. I'm a whole ass nigga. So I just was like, bro. Yeah, dog, we in a different place, bro. And, and I couldn't do that shit, man. But you said some real shit, OG, 100. Appreciate you.